straight goal to Port. The Bulldogs one behind. In front of the old scoreboard, if I can call it that now, here at Football Park. Wind and Romero going after it. And also taking it over the line with Danny Morton. Hasn't missed a game this year, Danny. Looks like Wine might have caught one in the eye then in that ruck uh, contest. Uh, Port have the ball with this free kick. Ripped off it when not in possession. So again the power and opportunity through Adam Kingsley to extend their lead. At the moment it's five points. Had a lot of games in the reserves with Essendon, this young man. He puts it across the face and wind. Got happy to slap it over. A little bit of feeling in this contest early on. Scotty Cummings booted five against them back in round 12 last year. This is a whole new ball game. Leon Cameron will bring it back. Great crowd here tonight, despite the wintry old conditions. Lyle was the high flyer, but without the ball, Darcy almost caught one in the back. Croft working hard, pushed away from him. Oh, the opportunity to go there was for Eagleton. He had it spent a little too early. Scotty West might make him pay because he picks it up and he defends to centre half back. Big fracture bodies. Well done by Lyle, who went in very strongly. Showed great strength. Stevens taking off the ball. Grant plays on for the Bulldogs. He gives it away to Jose. Romero's clear, but straight to Paxman. He's on the defensive side of centre wing. In fact, most of these players are in one half of this ground at the moment. As he goes to big Matthew Primus on the outer side of the ground, somehow he's able to break the tackle of Brown and go on with it. In towards the middle, Kingsley. Wanganin loves this situation. He likes to go for home. He loves to go for home. Did Darcy get a touch? No. Darren Wanganin. Do for a big one. This could be the night. Yeah, green goal there by the skipper coming down the ground. As uh, KB said before, has a job on the 100 game player, Stephen Kolonyuk. Look at the situation. No one was there short, decided to go long. And that ball certainly travelled a good 60, 65 metres. It just shows you the wind is very, very strong at Footy Park. It could be a 4 or 5 goal win, I believe. Great goal to Gavin Wanganeen. A very strong breeze here at Football Park. They lead by 12 points. Brewer. Taken away by Johnson, kicks the ball high, still inside the centre square. Jew comes out, usually a thumping kick under pressure. Handball didn't really hit a target. Donald Dickey to Kingsley, clever play. Back to Jew, outside of 50. It's a big bomb. Unloads a big bomb. He's hit it. Well, that's the kicking power of Jew. Coming down from the half-back line. So two defenders have goal within 30 seconds. Oh, well, okay, KB, he's come deep down the half-back line. He's come from the back pocket there, young Stuart Jew. And this just shows you, as I mentioned before, the Wanganin goal was a good 65 metres. Young Jew was the same situation. Decided to go long, no one was short. And it just shows you the ball can travel if you have a crack at the goals. Well, if this crowd was a little cold at the start of the game, they're warming up now. And really getting into the thick of things. 19 plays one, but remember, Port going with the breeze. But an excellent start as Primus goes up against Wine once again, trying to take it out of the middle. Scotty West locks up Braden Lyle, and also down there Shane Brewer as Jose is seated on his rump. There'll be another ball up in the middle. And Stu is happy, Sandy, because it was his first goal in AFL football. Great start. Three goals, the margin, favouring the power. Fair to say, their season on the line tonight. Wine and Primus again do battle. Wine almost got a shove. In fact, the umpire said he did. So he'll kick into the breeze from the middle of football park. Lays it off to Leon Cameron. Cameron takes his time because he's waiting for Brown to make position. He did that, but he didn't go very far. Steve Collinook runs past him, no doubt offering advice to the youngster. Short again, that's okay. Finds his mark in Powell, but he's not much closer to goal. 
Now Powell in towards half forward. That's going to be chopped up by Stevens, and this could be very, very dangerous indeed. It goes to the outer side. Some good bodywork, however, they may keep the dogs in it through death. Push Stevens.